So I just wanted to come on and talk about HIT. So I've actually filmed the HIT workout that I'm going to be uploading um, pretty soon so you will be able to do it but I would love it if you watched this video first before you do that workout. There are so many pros and cons but unfortunately there are a lot of cons to HIT. So HIT, basically the definition of HIT is high intensity interval training. So the idea behind HIT is that you do work literally to the end of your ability super high intensity and then you rest for the same amount of time and then go again so you do like 30 minutes a uh, 30 second sprint 30 second rest um, and do it go for so many rounds however hit has evolved especially over the last 12 months i've noticed with all the home workouts because they're nice and quick and easy well not easy but they're nice and quick i should i say easy to fit into your day um and they end up with a lot of squat jumps and just lots of jumping about and things like that, which is great. Get your heart rate up, gets you moving, gets you sweating, gets you burning those extra calories, which is fantastic. But that isn't just the basics of things. The basics of fitness, yes, get your body moving is better than nothing. But that isn't all our bodies do. There is so much more to it. There's a bigger scale of things going on. So with all the jumps and everything with HIT, there is a higher risk of injury than other training. So you just really need to be careful. And I wanted to come on and talk about form as well because it's so easy as you progress along the HIT workout, along the intervals of it, that your form goes. So I wanted to come on and talk about this because you'll see when you watch the HIT, I haven't done HIT in maybe six months. Um, I enjoy it every now and then, I do enjoy um training that way is a bit of fun um you know something to throw in there if i've just got 20 minutes i just feel like a good sweat i can't be bothered with the strength training um so i just wanted to come in though because and tell you on this video that in the, in i'm doing some plank jacks with shoulder taps and i haven't even watched that video back yet but i know my form was failing I know that. I know my shoulder, my wrists weren't in line with my shoulders in some of the reps. I know my back was starting to round. I wasn't flat. I, I could feel that. Um, so I wanted to come on and tell you as well because I want to make sure that you're not looking at that and thinking that's 100% right. Your form will start to fail uh, in some of the reps um, it's as you start to feel fatigued. Um, but try to keep the best form you can. At the end of the day, form can be super important. Um, so just keep an eye on that as well. Your form will start to go. Um, you know, and you don't get as much progress. Please do not just do HIT as your only form of exercise because you're constantly changing the exercises. You're never progressing really. Yes, okay, you have, you know, you might be able to do a little bit more in your 45 seconds or 30 seconds, whatever you're doing. You might be able to fit more reps in over time. But you're never going to squat 20 kilograms and then squat 30 and increase your reps or whatever it is. You're never going to get that progressive overload to make true um, progress. And because of that, you can feel discouraged and, you know, lose motivation. And then it's so easy to give up. So please don't use HIT as the only form of training you do. Do it as something fun, a little sweat if you've only got 20 minutes time, but fit strength training into the rest of your program. Um, and if you don't know how to do that, you can hire a coach. I myself am taking on some new clients at the moment, but there are so many of us out there that want to help you and truly want to help you. We don't just want to throw hit workouts and cardio at you. We want to truly help you progress so that you can go on. To train by yourself in the future you know we understand as coaches that some people w won't you know be with us forever some people will because you can constantly progress you'll never not progress um but that's why i wanted to share this with you before you do the hit workout before i post it because i really want to make sure that that's not the only thing you're doing you're doing it for fun to enjoy it and also you're not relying on the I'm going to be perfect in it. I was absolutely dead after that. I mean, 20 minutes of like cardio for me. I absolutely adore from training and through the lockdown, I haven't done as much cardio other than walks. I love my walking. So I just wanted you to know that, first of all, it is okay to fail. Don't do it as your only workout. Watch your form, but it's not going to be 100% all the time because you're just going to start to fatigue. So know that it is okay for your form to go slightly, but make sure it doesn't start 
bad because we don't want any injuries. You can get injured anyway with perfect form. Some bodies just are like that. Everybody is totally different. But I'm going to leave it because I think I've repeated everything a few times. So I hope that helps. Give it a watch, this a watch before you do that hit. No point me saying that at the end, but anyway. It's only five minutes of your time. 20 minutes hit. Get it, get it done. Get some exercises done. But most importantly, add strength training into your workout regime. If you like these videos, just a little bit of intel, five minutes, quick, bam, 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 give you some information, then give this video a like, subscribe, and hit the little bell to notify when I post. And I'll see you on my next ramble.